Good morning, friends. This is Victor Alpha 3, Bravo Hotel Yankee, with another video. Today, I will show you how I use Whisper to evaluate and test my antenna at my QTH. Let's begin. WSPR, pronounced Whisper, is an acronym for Weak Signal Propagation Reporter. It is a protocol implemented in a computer program used for weak signal radio communication between amateur radio operators. The protocol was designed and a program written initially by Joe Taylor, K1JT. The software code is now open source and is developed by a small team. The program is designed for sending and receiving low power transmissions to test the propagation paths on the MF and HF bands. The first step is time synchronization using NetTime. Open NetTime. Click on Update Now. Once done, click on X to close NetTime. WSJTX improves settings. If you are already operating on FT8 with your radio, then this is just a review. Open WSJTX, click on File, Settings, enter your call sign, your grid, and your region. Click on Radio tab. On the rig data, check read and display power and SWR and hold transmit when SWR is greater than 2.5. Click OK. Open WSJTX. Click on mode. Choose WSPR or whisper. Go to transmit and set this to your desired frequency. Whisper has a bandwidth of 200 Hz between 1400 to 1600 Hz. Avoid choosing the edges. I recommend set it between 1420 to 1580 Hz. Next is transmit percent. I keep this default at 20%. Place a check mark on upload spots. Place a check mark on prefer type 1 messages. Place a check mark on band hopping. Click on schedule. Here, you can define which band Whisper will use based on sunrise, day, sunset, and night. Click X to close this schedule window. Next, we set the transmit power that will be reported to WSPR database. This settings does not control the actual transmit power you will be transmitting. I set mine to 5 watts. Next, I manually set the transmit power of my transceiver to 5 watts. Tuning the transmit power output per band. I perform tuning on each band to make sure I am transmitting only 5 watts on the bands Whisper will be transmitting. To tune, choose the band example 80 meters. Press tune. Watch the power reading and SWR. Adjust the power output using the slider. Set the power to 5 watts. Then, choose another band, example 40 meters. Press tune. Adjust the power output to 5 watts. Pay attention also to the SWR readings on each band. Change the band to 30 meters. Press tune. Adjust the power output to 5 watts. Pay attention to the SWR readings. Change the band to 20 meters. Repeat the procedure. Change the band to 17 meters. Adjust the power. Note the SWR reading.
change to 15 meters, adjust power, note the SWR reading. If the SWR is too high on one or any band, go back to the schedule and uncheck that band so that the whisper will not transmit on that band. Change to 12 meters. Adjust power. Note the SWR reading. And finally, change to 10 meters. Adjust power. Note the SWR reading. This completes our band tuning. After tuning the different bands my antenna can operate and transmit, it is now time to start Whisper. Since it is night time on my zone, I will start Whisper at 80 meters. Then I will enable transmit. At the bottom right corner, you will notice a fraction counter with a limit of 120. This is the time allocated to each whisper session, 120 seconds or 2 minutes. Pay attention to the numerator. It is increasing in value and in sync with the seconds on the clock at the left side. Once it reaches around 115 over 120, the whisper will switch band as defined on schedule I made on the setup. After a few cycles, whisper will enable transmit and it will transmit for 120 seconds or 2 minutes. This is the reason why I set my radio transmit power output to the lowest 5 watts settings to avoid overheating and damaging my radio. I will now leave the radio operating on Whisper for 24 hours. After 24 hours, I can see the results on Google PSK reporting website and WSPRnet.org, which we will do on the next clip. The results after 24 hours of WSPR. First, we will check the WSPRnet website and later, we will check the PSK Reporter website by Google. First, open a browser, then go to this website. On the settings, band set to all, mode set to all, call, enter your call sign here. In last, choose 24 hours and then press update. Spot database will display the results. I like to sort mine by distance column to see how far my 5 watts reach. After reviewing the database, click back and click on map. I enter my parameters on the map feature. 
but at this time the map of WSPRNet is not working with Google Maps. Maybe they will resolve this issue in the future. The result from Google's PSK Reporter website. Open your browser, go to the PSK Reporter website, set the following on all bands, show signals, sent and received by, enter your call sign using all mode over the last 24 hours, click go. Now, let's filter the results by band. Let's start at 80 meters. Let's check the 40 meters. Let's check the 30 meters. Let's check the 20 meters. Let's check the 17 meters. Let's check the 15 meters. Let's check the 12 meters. Finally, let's check the 10 meters. I hope this video inspired you to try WSPR on WSJTX. It's easy and you do not need to buy additional hardware. This is Victor Alpha 3, Bravo Hotel Yankee. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Your likes and subscription helps this channel a lot and inspires me to create more videos in the future. 73 to all.